Hello everybody, how are you doing? I know you're like, oh my God, I'm getting another video this week. Hey, if you're new to my channel, hey, stick around a while, hit subscribe, it does not hurt, it is free. And if you're returning, thank you for continuing to walk this journey with me. Today, I'm just giving you guys a quick little chit chat. Well, I don't know, I always say it'd be quick and we don't know how long this thing is gonna be. But first of all, to all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming to my channel. Guys, share my videos. Let them see the old lady with the baby. So, you know, there's a lot of ladies that are going through what we're going through, especially at a older age. So, hey, get me out there. Let them see the old lady with the baby. <laughs> anyway, y'all, the reason I decided to do a chit chat today, today is April the 9th of 2021. And I am 30 weeks and four days pregnant with my little peanut. And for those of you who have been on my channel for quite a while, my channel will be up two years in July. I actually did it July 4th of what 19 was the very first video I ever did and posted. Um, so yeah, it's been almost two years and can't believe we've made it to this point. But the reason for the video today is because yesterday, April the 8th, was the one year anniversary of myself and Sydney going to Dr. Sheck's office in New Jersey. And let me tell you how amazing this process has been. Because of COVID, well, first of all, I just, I had found out about Dr. Check through somebody else. It was like, oh, he's amazing with older ladies. I was going to go through Durham, which is in Delaware, and their policies were starting to change, and I was getting very uncomfortable before you would get two cycles for a price, and then they went to just one cycle, and I'm just like, I cannot waste that money at my age and everything that's going on. It just made me a little uncomfortable, so I was looking for other doctors, and by chance, somebody had mentioned Dr. Check. The next day, literally, the next day I called his office and they were like, we had a whole bunch of cancellations because of COVID. When can you come in? I literally called them on a Thursday, y'all, and I went on a Wednesday. I did a round trip, uh, round trip from North Carolina to New Jersey, back to North Carolina in one day. So I literally took one day off of work. And my appointment was at 1 p.m. And I literally drove it. And it's, like I said, if any of you guys are familiar with my channel or from my, I do have a, a vlog from back when I did do that drive, how we left early in the morning. My appointment it was the most amazing appointment I ever had, y'all. It was the most thorough appointment I had. We got exams. We got everything. Both of us did. Because as you guys know, from back then, we were going to do reciprocal where I was going to use Sydney's eggs. But the process, because of COVID, had got slowed down. And I really wanted to do this before my age got out of control and other things and I had finally got my health to where things were going to be better so I went with um embryos that were already created however I cannot believe y'all that it's been a year it's been 366 days today from the very first time that I walked into their office and did that workup within let me see Within five months, I was pregnant. And the funny part about that was I could have did it sooner. We were just holding out hope that I would possibly be able to use Sydney's eggs if somebody was going to pick her up as a, you know, a donor, an egg donor. So we were looking for that because I really did want to carry um, a biological child from Sydney. But, you know, hence Peanut was meant to be because Peanut is here and Peanut is kicking. But I just wanted to let you guys know that you know, just if you're still going through the journey, if you're still contemplating it, it is a long, hard journey. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's all roses and sunshine. And, you know, I happen to be a success story, but I didn't always feel that way. You got to remember, it took me basically 22 years. I have people on my channel that are 22. Um, so as long as some of my subscribers have been alive, I've been trying to be a mother. So for me, I feel like this is my miracle child and hopefully it happens again for us with, you know, a sibling, but there's no guarantees. And the bonds that I'm creating with this baby is amazing. That is so amazing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to insert a picture right about here of Sydney bonding with the baby this weekend which i thought was amazing like their bond is amazing Ex 
excuse the boobage a little bit that you see in it. It was just, we were laying in bed and I just thought I, I had to catch the moment. So I'm going to insert it right about here and then we'll continue this chit chat. So look who stopped by. So I was not expecting her to stop by for this video. But as I was saying before I inserted the picture, the bond that her and Peanut have is amazing. And for those of you who have not started your journey yet or are concerned that maybe you won't bond because it's, you know, not genetically your child. Oh, you're going to bond. Oh, me and Peanut have conversations every day. He is my penis. There is no different than had I been pregnant with my own child. He is my child. But what I'm saying is a genetic child. I was concerned about that in the very beginning. You know, everybody has those fears. I was concerned. What if I don't bond with the baby? What if I don't? Oh, yeah, we bonded. <laughs> like peanut, he he's my peanut. And I love him to death. And I have not seen his face yet. And well, of course, on ultrasound. But I mean, I've not like really seen his face yet. And I'm already in love. He's my little love bug. <laughs> Just and like when I um be playing with his stomach. He had kicked my hand. I hit his foot. <laughs> then I gave him a kiss. Yeah. But yeah, he mainly follow uh, my voice. He of my does. Voice. He does. He loves her to death. Literally, if we're laying in the bed and say he's all the way over to the left. She get in the bed because, you know, I normally be in the bed first because that's what I'm the old lady with the baby and I be tired. <laughs> so she'll come in there. As soon as she starts talking, he starts moving. It doesn't matter if you. I mean, it's amazing that like the last couple weeks now that he can hear, he knows her voice and he will migrate towards her. And it's so funny because like even if we cuddle and she has her arm on my stomach, he'll start playing with her arm. He'll start kicking it and playing like he's ready to play. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> But their bond, I mean, I keep trying to tell you, I'm just the vessel that's carrying this baby for her because he loves her to death. Like their bond is amazing. Just to watch them. And sometimes I just watch her play with my stomach and it's just like, this is so, this is like how it's supposed to be. Like, I really love it. So I just really wanted to do the video just to say, wow, it's been a year, like a year. And look where we're at. We're about to deliver him in the next six to seven weeks he will be here and a year ago we were still like going around in circles not knowing if it was going to happen and you know just kind of felt like we were beating our heads up against the wall like everything we thought was going to happen didn't happen and you know we were losing a little bit of hope a little bit of faith you know after doing that whole move down here and just trying to make this happen it just seems like we kept hitting brick wall after brick wall, after brick wall. And then all of a sudden, they just seem to start crumbling down, crumbling down, crumbling down. So I'm going to tell you, anybody who's on this journey, for every big, fat, negative you get, because I've had 22 years worth of them, somewhere there's going to be a big, fat, positive at the end of the rainbow, no matter what your journey into. Even, you know, even if that means traditional adoption, that could be your positive, because that could be, your baby. So uh, we weren't crossing out anything. We were going to do whatever route had to take. I just knew I wanted to have the opportunity to carry and I just wanted to do it at least once. Now, like me and I don't want Brina to come out. Like I told you before in another video, the bond I have with him and I know he's in my stomach and I know he's all mine right now and I don't have to share him with even Sydney. <laughs> that I'm going to miss that. Like, I'm really going to miss that. You know, you have some people that be like, oh, pregnancy was horrible. I hated it. Hey, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I don't know if it's because I waited so long. I don't know if it's because in my head, it's like, it's finally here. We're finally doing it. He's finally coming. That it's like, I love this experience. And I, like I said, if I was young enough to do it 10 times more, a little bit of an exaggeration, <laughs> but if, if I was young enough to do it a couple more times, I definitely would. Um, I'm grateful yet again to the subscribers who did donate those two female embryos to us that we actually do have ownership of now. So that is amazing. So we do have at least two more shots or, you know, one more if the doctor decides to put them both in at the same time. So hopefully that does generate a sibling for Peanut. But the, the gist of this video really was just to let you know, don't give up hope. 
Do not give up hope. It's going to happen when it's meant to happen. Um, even when you feel like you're defeated, like I just can't do this anymore. And sometimes if you're getting a whole bunch of it's just not working, maybe it's time to switch programs. As much as you might like the doctor, as much as he has amazing results, as much as you've heard this, as much as you've heard that. If you're not one of the success stories, then maybe your success is going to be somewhere else. I've been, okay, and this is crazy because the first place that I did my IVF was Milton Hershey Hospital in Hershey, Pennsylvania. That is the same hospital and IVF program John and Kate Plus 8 used. As a matter of fact, when she was pregnant, well, getting pregnant with the older two girls, we were in the program at the same time. So, Every program is not for every person because she was successful with them a couple times. I was never successful with them. So sometimes just because you see a lot of success stories coming out of that clinic does not mean that's your success story. Not telling you to leave where you're at, but I'm saying if you're getting so discouraged that you're just thinking it's not going to work, try something that's out of the box. Because I'm going to tell you something about Dr. Chet. He's definitely out of the box. <laughs> and everybody who deals with him says He's going to tell you he's going to get you pregnant. I got pregnant. 22 years of negatives, of crying, broken relationships, you know, feeling not worthy enough, feeling is this ever going to happen? And yes, my biggest regret was sticking around to a lot of programs as long as I did, losing my window of opportunity to produce my own genetic child. But the bond I have with Pina is so strong that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. He could come out blue with purple, <laughs> with purple polka dots. And I probably wouldn't care at this point. I'm just so over the moon. I'm just so excited. Like, we just can't wait to be. Well, we can wait because he need to bake a little bit more. He's simmering right now. He done cooking, but he's simmering. We try to get him to that final product. But um, just. <laughs> Make sure he's juicy. <laughs> but, you know, we can't. We cannot wait to meet him. And he's so loved already. But like I said, y'all, this was not meant to be a long video. We just want to stop in and say, happy what? Friday. Thank God, it's Friday. Oh, God. And enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. Have a good time. Hopefully, well, Monday will probably be an update video. Hopefully by the end of next week, you'll finally get to see Peanuts Nursery. I'm not promising any day yet because I say I'm going to go home and do, <laughs> and do something. And it gets totally sidetracked. So that's really what the process has been. It, it's 92%. 92% loaded. We got about eight more percent to make it fully loaded. So then we can show you guys and get your feedback. And oh, by the way, dragonflies have won. Yes, yes, yes. I'm happy you guys made my day with that. Thank you for all the positive feedback. And like I said, share these videos. Let people see the old lady with the baby and the cutie with the hair. It's <laughs> okay. Y'all still get a song. Oh, so y'all gonna still get a song. I don't know when. <laughs> She's bad about dragonflies. Well, they're cute though. She did say that after we did do the last video, she was like, if you want to keep them, we'll keep them. But remember in that video, she said, happy wife, happy life. So I didn't know if she really wanted to keep the dragonflies or if she was just saying it. But I will say this. Once that night when I did film that little piece for you and we seen them in the room and they were lit up, she kind of had a change of heart. She was like, they're kind of nice. So there's no way you can't tell. You can't. You cannot tell. Exactly. So anyway, y'all, y'all have a good weekend. It was great talking to you guys. And if you're on this journey, stop letting the what if stop you and just go for it. Just go for it. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>